Life Audio. Welcome to Crosswalk the Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is God's compassion. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. You may only be familiar with the Salvation Army by the bells we ring at Christmas. But did you know we also produce a network of Christian shows you can listen to on your favorite podcast store or even local Christian radio station? One of our shows, Words of Life, is a weekly 15-minute show featuring powerful interviews and testimonies. I sometimes call him my, yeah, my angel because I just feel like the Lord put him in my life in the perfect time. When I think Engaging about, conversations about topics impacting the church today. About it. And that really gets back to this fundamental question within Christian ethics. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? And I think that's one of the most important questions we can And get. deep dives into Scripture. This divine appropriation of the Holy Spirit that God now dwells in the believer. That not only Listen to Words of Life on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org to learn about more shows produced by the Salvation Army. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing, help save lives, and so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity. Lean into God's compassion, written and read by Jessica Van Ruckel. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Psalm 86, 15 and 16. Are you slow to anger? If so, you are my hero. I strive to be slow to anger, but I'm a work in progress. It helps when I remember I need mercy and grace every day. I miss the mark, but I know God is slow to anger. And when I'm angry at myself for being quick to anger... I know that God looks on me with kindness. His eyes fill with steadfast love and he helps me through the mess my anger creates. I'm so grateful God is compassionate. To be compassionate means to feel sorrow for someone else's suffering with a desire and effort to help. We see God's compassion for us in the person of Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, we can have forgiveness and salvation. Our lives change when we meet Jesus so that we can know God's great compassion and his compassion helps us live for him in our day to day. There is action behind compassion. As we lean into God's compassion, we begin to see his actions in our lives. We experience his mercy when we mess up once again. We know his grace when he encourages us to fall forward into his arms and he helps us stand again. All through the Old Testament, we see how full of mercy God was to his people. And then in the New Testament, we see Jesus' compassion on the crowds. Jesus delivered his good news of freedom, healed the brokenhearted, and gave sight to the blind of eyes and heart. Jonah did not understand the Lord's compassion. He ran away from God's command and spent three days and nights in the belly of a whale before he obeyed God and warned the people of Nineveh of imminent destruction. The Ninevites repented and God extended compassion to them. He did not destroy them. Instead of rejoicing, Jonah thought this was very wrong. He pouted in anger because God was compassionate. We can learn much from Jonah. For one, to obey right away. Second, to remember how much we need mercy and grace. We are not perfect. We do not have it all together. Yet, it's so easy to look at everyone else's failings and refuse to see our own. We want to experience God's compassion. But do we want our greatest enemy to experience his compassion? In my most honest moments, I struggle to say yes. 
I want God's acts of compassion toward me. I want him to forgive me, to help me, and to bless me. But when I've been wounded by someone's betrayal, I want punishment for them. I am not slow to anger, and I struggle to show mercy and grace. But God, he steps in and reminds me that I need his compassion just as much as my enemies do. This keeps me humble and fully reliant on his grace. I'm grateful for his steadfast love and his strength to extend compassion when I would be compassionless, like Jonah. It's tempting to respond like Jonah. He knew God's nature because he experienced it for himself, but he grew angry when God showed compassion to the Ninevites, people whom he felt didn't deserve it. We know the Ninevites gave up their evil and violent ways. They humbled themselves before God and he responded in compassion. Humility is key in learning to let go of our anger and to receive God's strength to extend compassion to others. The book of Jonah ends with God asking Jonah a question, and we're left wondering what happened to him. Did he stay angry? Did he harbor resentment toward God? Intersecting Faith and Life The next time you find yourself struggling with anger, remember Jonah. Let him be an example of how not to respond. Jonah appreciated God's compassion for himself, but he grew angry when God showed compassion to people whom he felt did not deserve it. God's compassion extends to all. Lean into it and encourage others to lean into it as well. As you do, you will experience God's grace, mercy, steadfast love, and strength. In turn, we begin to be slow to anger and quicker to show compassion. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Many of us have a desire to draw closer to God today, to understand the knowledge of His Word better, and to be transformed in our hearts and our minds. I would also venture to say that many of us want to be equipped to do the very thing that God has called us to do. Well, I'm Courtney Richard, host of the Inside Out with Courtney podcast, and I want to invite you to tune into the show each week where I help women all around the globe grow in Christ, character, career, and calling as we await the return of Jesus. So join me along with occasional guests, and let's get ready to grow from the inside out.